Here, we're going to learn how to calculate percent composition by mass, and we'll work through these practice problems. What is the percent composition by mass of hydrogen in H2O? To start solving this, let's take a look at the formula that tells us how to calculate percent composition by mass. And just so you know, sometimes percent composition by mass is referred to only as percent by mass. They're the same thing. Okay, so here's our equation, and it's got a big fraction. The fraction's got a top and a bottom. So on the top of the fraction, we have the total molar mass of just the element. In this case, hydrogen is the element, and I'm going to talk more about the top of the fraction in a minute. On the bottom of the fraction, we have the molar mass of the whole compound. In this case, the compound is water, H2O. Okay, we're going to do some division. We're going to divide the top by the bottom, and then we're going to take that and multiply it by 100%. Okay, so to start solving for this, we are going to want to get a number for the top and we're going to get want to get a number for the bottom here. Let's start on the bottom, okay? Let's start by calculating the molar mass of H2O of water. Now, you may already know how to calculate molar mass. If you need a refresher, I got a video on that. But just real quick, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the chemical formula here for H2O, which tells us that there are two hydrogens and one oxygen, okay? So, then we will look up hydrogen and oxygen on the periodic table, okay? This number here, 1.01, .01, tells us the molar mass of hydrogen, and we got two of them. So we do two times this number, and then we add it to one, because we have one oxygen, one times the molar mass of oxygen. We do the addition and we get 18.02, the molar mass of H2O, which is how much one mole of H2O would weigh. Okay, so that's the bottom here of the fraction. Now let's talk about, let's talk about the top here, okay? What do I mean when I say the total molar mass of just the element? Okay, well when we calculated the molar mass of H2O, we added together the molar masses of hydrogen and of oxygen. We combined both of these. But I want to find out the total molar mass of just the hydrogen, not both of these things added together, all right? So if we look at the equation here, I mean, sorry, if, if we look at the formula here, we see that we have two hydrogens, okay? Each one weighs this much, so we do two times 1.01 .01 to get the total molar mass of just the hydrogen, okay? This is the total molar mass of the hydrogen on its own, and this is the total molar mass of everything, the hydrogen added to the oxygen. So now we can take these values and plug them into the equation. Okay, so on the top, the total molar mass of just the hydrogen is going to be 2.02. .02. And then on the bottom, the molar mass of the whole compound of the hydrogen and oxygen added together of the water is going to be 18.02 times 100%. I'll do this in two steps. Okay, so the first step, just doing this division here, is going to give me 0 0.112 times 100%. I'm rounding this to three significant figures because of this number up here. And now when I take this and multiply it by 100%, it will move the decimal two spots to the right, so I'll get 11.2, and we'll also turn this into a percentage. So 11.2% is the percent composition by mass of hydrogen in H2O. Let's do a couple more. Calculate the percent by mass of iron in FeCl3. We're going to want to get a number for both of these, okay? The total molar mass of just the iron as well as the molar mass of the whole compound, FeCl3. Let's start out by determining the molar mass of FeCl3. We look at the chemical formula. It tells us that we have one iron and three chlorines. So we can take a look at the periodic table do one times the molar mass of iron, because we got one of them, three times the molar mass of chlorine, because we got three of those, and get this number for the total molar mass of the whole thing, FeCl3. Okay, now, for the total molar mass of just the iron, we'll want to zoom in on iron. Here's its molar mass. We look at the chemical formula, and we only have one iron, okay? So the total molar mass of just the iron is going to be the same as, as just one iron. It's going to be 55.85. Now we got the mass of just the iron and we got the molar mass of everything together. Let's put it in the equation. We'll take the mass of just the iron, 55.85, and
and divide it by the molar mass of the whole compound, 162.2 times 100%. I'll do this in two steps again. The first step gives me 0 0.3443, rounded to four significant figures, times 100%. And then multiplying this here, we'll move the decimal place over two spots to the right. So I'll get 34.43%, the percent by mass of iron in FeCl3. Determine the percent by mass of carbon in C6H10O4. Two things we want to keep in mind, the total molar mass of just the carbon and then the molar mass of the whole compound. We'll start with the molar mass of the whole compound, which contains six carbons, 10 hydrogens, and four oxygens. So we will add their molar masses together, six carbons, 10 hydrogens, and four oxygens, and get 146.2, the molar mass of all of them added together. Now, when we zoom in on just the carbon, we see that we've got six carbons here. So we'll do six times 12.01, which is how much one carbon weighs, and we get 72.06, the molar mass of just the carbon. Now we'll plug these into the formula. We get 72.06 on the top for the molar mass of just the carbon, divided by the molar mass of the whole thing, 146.2, times 100%. The first step is going to give me 0 0.4929 times 100%. And the second step, moving this over two spots and turning it into a percentage, is going to give me 49.29% percent by mass of carbon in this big compound. So that is how to calculate percent composition by mass, also known as percent by mass.